Sa, you may recall last August when the group the Santa Satanic Temple unveiled a statue of Baphomet outside the state capital. It was in protest of another religious statue. This event is now part of a documentary about the group. Rick Damigella has a review of Hail Satan. It's a beautiful day here at the state capital. Great day to be a Satanist. I believe it and I'm very excited about it. To some, this group is seen as mischievous trolls, but the Satanic Temple says it is fighting for religious freedom. This fight is central to the documentary, Hail Satan. To be called a troll, I mean, simply for asserting the right to exist, is um, it's a little offensive at the end of the day. But at the same time, I think people have a hard time with this with Satanism and taking it seriously because there is a humorous element to it, because they are having some fun. I mean, if there's any religion that's fun, it's Satanism. The Satanic Temple is the largest religious Satanic organization in the world. Uh, however, I think most people don't recognize that modern Satanism is largely non-theistic and we don't venerate a personal Satan, but rather a metaphorical construct. Hail Satan! Despite the animosity the group has been up against, it is on a mission to change the perspective on the religion through this film. It's a really warm-hearted film. Like, you know, there's something about the topic of Satanism that does have the potential to turn people off, like, kind of as a knee-jerk reaction. But I think that if people walk into the film, walk into the theater with an open heart, they will be very surprised at what they find. Very surprised. Earlier this week, the Satanic Temple announced it received official recognition as a church by the IRS, granting it the same rights as mainstream religious organizations.